Trust me, I have a bunch of P-tapes. Yet, now they're coming out and saying that it was all a waste of time. So tell us what's going on with this Durham report and why should I care? Well, the Democrats have been saying for a long time that the Durham report wasn't going to turn up interesting stuff, but it actually did. First of all, the Durham report showed that the FBI never had a case against Donald Trump. Right? The talking point four years ago when the inspector general for the Justice Department came out and said, look, this investigation went off the rails. The talking point was, well, you know, it may have gone off the rails, but it was legitimate at the outset. There was a real reason to look into Russia collusion. Right. So this was totally above board. And Bill Barr, the attorney general at the time, as well as John Durham, said, whoa, 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 you guys haven't seen the evidence we have. And I guess it took a while, but this report shows that the FBI never had any evidence whatsoever of Russia collusion. And because they hated Trump so much, the agents on the case, they overrode all their usual procedures, all their rules. They didn't give Trump any kind of defensive briefing or anything like that. This was rotten from the outset. And so the Democrats talking point about how there was a real reason to do this just fell apart. The other interesting comment I found there in the report after reading through it, and it's very long and technical, but there's an interesting line where Durham points out that the FBI didn't even check whether the source they were using for the steel dossier, the P tape and all that, they didn't even bother to check whether that source was actually working for the Kremlin. So they might have been operating on Russian disinformation when they went after Trump. So this is, I think, the official recognition that the whole thing was a hoax. Well, do you think that uh, how many P tapes do you think there are of uh, Hunter Biden getting urinated on? <laughs> well, I think he made some of them. I think he tried to share some of them on some websites. I've seen some of them. I love them. I watch them every night. <laughs> well, I can't say that I've done the same, but I'll take your word for it. No, you need to watch them. They're incredible. No, they're so good. And we have a Hollywood movie uh, director here. Greg, how would you direct some of Hunter Biden's sex tapes? Do you think he's using enough, you know, studio technology? Because really the quality is so poor. I mean, how would you direct Hunter Biden into making higher quality uh, pornographic movies with Ukrainian prostitutes and how to film methamphetamines in a way that looks fun and not as degenerate as it normally does? I don't know. That's not usually my... Uh my, my forte there. Um, so you don't know how to direct like a drug uh, uh, cracked in? You could you had drug cracked ins before, Greg, in the movies. Yeah, I mean, I heard you might need a wider angle lens with Hunter than with other people.